Limbaugh and former White House special counsel, Fox News contributor Lanny Davis. Lanny, you're not going to like what I have to say. We've got to get to the bottom of this here. This is now a lawless administration. We have, we have something called separation of powers. We have checks and balances, and we have the United States Constitution, Lanny. Congress passes laws. The president implements. The president signs those bills into law. The president does not have the right unilaterally to declare he is not going to enforce the law. And that's what the president has done here. That's what he's done with the Defense of Marriage Act. And then he basically snubs the Supreme Court by basically saying, we're not even going to take Arizona's calls. Now, you can't sit there and defend as a lawyer a president ignoring what is clear precedence as it relates to his duties in the Constitution. Okay, now let me give you the facts. I understand uh, your rhetoric, but here are the facts. Over one million people were deported in the last three years by the Obama administration. Fact two, the Supreme Court itself said... The president said he's not let going to finish. enforce it, Lanny. Fact, You're obfiascating I'm now like going to get to that. Fact two is the Supreme Court itself said, let's be cautious about enforcing this law of these reasonable stops because it's vague and we're only ruling on a matter of federal power, not on other constitutional grounds. And fact three, you are simply factually incorrect that the law isn't going to be enforced. All that happened Lanny, was Homeland Security said to Arizona, that's not what I'm talking about. We will do the our Friday own enforcement. Before. We're not going to allow Arizona Lanny, policemen the, Let me to do educate it. you because obviously you don't know what happened the Friday before. The Friday before, the president of the United States said he would not enforce a law that was passed by Congress and signed into law by a prior president. That is where we're talking about lawlessness. David You're Limbaugh. talking about the executive order that he issued? That's correct, that he's not going and to obey the law of the land. executive order was absolutely in substance the same as Senator Marco Rubio's proposal. It is snubbing. And in fact, that executive to, order that, 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 hold, hold, is perfectly David, that, legal on, and prosecutorial discretion. Yes, what that is doesn't it, David? matter. That doesn't matter. The Congress didn't pass true, the law, though. Lanny, that is the and same so he as circumvented Rubio's it. Law. <coughs> Lanny, it, let true, speak. it doesn't matter. Oh, please, okay. let me let me talk. It doesn't matter what the substance of the law is in this case. He admitted a few weeks before that he had no authority to circumvent Congress on that, and he did. But this law re represents the worst of all worlds. This ruling it guts the legal enforcement ability. Uh, of the state of Arizona doesn't have any teeth and, and, and the second thing is it, the political ramifications are terrible because it will allow Obama to play the race card again and he's already started doing it by setting up this hotline his community organizing writ, li uh, writ large encouraging people actually to file complaints against law enforcement officials and against their state pitting citizens against their states and law enforcement officials now that's the, the MO of the Obama administration and getting people divided on the basis of race. It's a complete, All right, David, completely I have a question lawless for you. Uh, administration. Yes. Can I quickly respond? Da David, though, I David? Say, hang on a second. David, I say this is lawless. I say that this is not only inappropriate, but violates the Constitution because Congress passes laws, the president signs it into law, and for a president sworn to uphold the Constitution of the United States to say he's not going to yeah. enforce them, isn't that unconstitutional? Well, absolutely. I, I mean, he has no authority. Authority to do that. This is a, and plus, this is not a, a, a this is not an inconsistency in the law, as the Obama administration uh, speciously claims. It's a disagreement about enforcement, and the state just wants to enforce the law, protect its borders, help the federal government enforce its own law. And Obama calls it racial profiling when this law expressly forbids it. Lanny, that's despicable, dividing people on the basis of race, like Obama. Uh, yes, I know please, it's an inconvenient please. fact that Chief Justice Roberts and Justice. Justice Kennedy warned that this law should be applied with caution and that other constitutional problems may exist. And what the Department of Homeland Security did consistent with Justice Roberts's comments on, and part of the opinion, a conservative justice, is to say we, the federal government, are going to supervise the application of this search law because there may be other constitutional a, problems a, a, a rather Lanny, than state agents, which the Supreme Court ruled that Lanny, the law passed two in Arizona was unconstitutional. Lanny, first of all, the language from the law was taken directly from the federal government, which failed in its duty to enforce the law, and now the president has said as much that he's not going to enforce the law. Secondly, for anybody to well, be asked 
for anybody to be checked out in terms of their legal status in this country, they would have first had to have been in contact with law enforcement. So it's not like they could go well, out there and racially profile anybody uh, look, as it relates to the... You may disagree with Justice Roberts on this. I agree with him. I agree oh, with Justice Scalia on this. He's the one who said, the one who said what Janet Napolitano said, which is we have to be very careful about letting Arizona policemen stop people on a vague premise and be cautious well, about... the it's, argument. It's not a vague premise. How and do we it's, pass it's, it's, the Supreme Court that you, you guys disagree with, a su conservative Supreme Court you guys are taking but, issue but, with? But, but David, I'll give you the last ironic. word. Lanny yeah. doesn't address the it, point. He does not have the authority to say through executive fiat that he is not going to enforce laws that were passed by a Congress and signed in a law by a prior president. That is, n that is an abuse of power. No. That's correct, and it's the M.O. of the Obama administration. He does it with DOMA. He does it with other things. He did it with this administrative order, uh, this executive order. But this entire episode is a microcosm of the Obama administration. They're playing the race card. They're dividing us on the basis of race and other reasons. They're uh, thumbing their nose at the law. They're pitting citizens against each other, and, and they are disregarding. By, by the way, it's not just a diminution of state sovereignty. I would argue it's a diminution is... of federal sovereignty. Because we're disrespecting fed, what it means to be a this federal citizen. This is so citizen. ironic uh, to hear American Limbaugh, David, United... criticize no, no, Chief listen. Justice Roberts for no, not well, that's respecting the Supreme Court. You're always on the Supreme Court. I mean, it's very uh, ironic listen, to hear you right, criticize Chief Justice Roberts. We are Roberts. gutting respect for, the, for, what, for what it means to be an American citizen. You're criticizing Chief Justice Roberts when you say that. Hey, hey, Lanny, I am, Lanny. I am criticizing Lanny, him. Scary, Lanny, Lanny, you're talking Lanny, about two you. separate issues here. Let me, let, me suggest, let me suggest to you that you read up on something called separation of powers, checks and balances, yeah. and if Congress passes a law, then, then the president... If he doesn't like the law, he can change it. But he's got to get to Congress court to go along with him. He, he has can't prosecutorial do discretion fiat. to do what he did, Sean. But that's a legal Lanny, argument. Gotta, Let a court decide that. No, he has well, Lanny, you got to get my book. You got to get my book, Lanny. You need. You I'm always to ready to be read educated, my book. David. Uh, <laughs> you know, I actually quoted Lanny's book, David, when he said, "Tell the truth, tell it early, tell it yourself." Uh, that's probably what they should Thank have done you, on Fast and Furious. I'll Lan give you, I'll give you that one, Davis. He's a good man for a liberal. He's a good and man David's for a liberal. a good man for a conservative. So oh, you, you guys are ruining the show. This love fest. That's it. No more. Get away. <laughs> Thank that's you, we're done. <laughs> Thank you. All right.